Thanks. Are you a woman who takes care of your business and not running around telling other folks business? If you said yes, then this segment is for you. Sasha L. Castro and another family gathering have launched an experience called Stilettos on the Pavement. And joining me now to tell us all about it is Sasha herself. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. It's so nice to see you. And you have this great event coming up with another family gathering. It's next month. I know in January, and it's, it's, it's great. It's empowering for women, so tell me a little bit about it. Sure. Well, Stilettos on the Pavement was founded by Tamika Garrett. It was a passion, something that was just, you know, put inside of her, and she has taken it to the next level. She started in July of 2014. That was the first experience. Okay. And since then, it has become a phenomenon here locally. Right, so it's it's fairly new. Yes. So has the turnout been really good with just the few gatherings she's already had? Yes. Uh, the first one was in July, and it was about thirty women. The second was the second one was in October, and there was a waiting list. She keeps it the capacity at fifty. Okay, so you have to you know get in there and be ready. How do you go about being on the list? Well, technically, there is no list. There is a website, and she does announce it on her website, which is uh, stilettosonthepavement.com, and she has it updated monthly, and it does say when the next event will be and when you can purchase tickets. All right, so what is the purpose behind this? What drives this Stilettos on the Pavement? I'm glad you asked. It is a forum for business women and it doesn't matter if you own your own business or if you work for someone else, you're still taking care of business. It's a safe place for women to come together, um, network with one another, and encourage each other. There's so many hats that we play as women or that we wear as women, and so therefore it is a great environment. It is an environment to breathe, to relax, and encourage one another, get uplifted, whatever the case may be, it is something I, something specific for each individual. Of course, and is this geared just towards business women or is it just for anybody? It is for any woman, even if you're a stay-home mother, that is still a business that you're operating, even though some may think not. That's right, yeah. However, it is, being a full-time mother is absolutely a business, so we don't wanna say if you own a business, well, only you can come. No, that's not correct. It is for all women. You may desire to own a business or desire to do something else. Well, this is where that desire could be met or you can get the information that you need to help catapult you to the next level. Of course, and um, I'm not sure if you know, but there's so much degrading amongst ourselves as women. There's so much cattiness and you know, even with these sh reality shows, um, <laughs> not speaking on any specifically, but you know, it, it's just like it portrays that women cannot come together at all, like in, no matter what setting you're in. So is this event like a, I guess some kind of haven for this to let people know like, look, you can be successful, you can be a strong woman, and you have people who support you as well. You know, no one's out to get you. I just wanted to know if it's kind of that environment that it is, women can come and feel safe. It is indeed that environment. One of the things that she stands by is this is for women who are taking taking care of business, not telling other people's business. Correct. And she is very stringent about that because there has to be a place where you can come, you can let your hair down, you can be you and not be judged. And there was a segment that she had in the last stilettos on the pavement where each woman took an individual and it was one-on-one -on -one and you just had to tell that person something wonderful about wow. themselves for 60 seconds and it, we were full of tears. Everyone was full of oh, tears, but it was yeah. beautiful and it was so encouraging. And that right there was a moment that I'll never forget from a Stilettos on the Pavement event. What is the, I guess, what is the motivation behind Tamika's vision? I mean, where, where did she even come up with this idea to do this? Well, I'm going to have to say it was probably a spiritual download and she took the vision that she had that God gave her and she was dogmatic about making sure it came to fruition, and she's done just that. 
Yes, she has, and I'm excited. It's going to be the third one, correct? Yes. And is this going to be something happening um, quarterly? Is it going to move to annually? How is she going about doing all of that? I'm not a thousand percent of her entire vision, but at this moment, it is a quarterly event, and then she will have small curtain events that happens once a month and you, she will keep you informed via her website or Facebook. She's on Facebook at another family gathering, but definitely stay tuned to the website because she is giving information and letting you know where each event will be held. All right, well, for those aspiring people who wanna attend, what do they need to do to at least um, try to get in on that 50 <laughs> limit list? Well, what they need to do is go to stilettosonthepavement.com. She usually puts when the tickets will go on sale. This way, it's fair for everyone. She doesn't hold tickets for individuals because she wants everyone to have the opportunity. So therefore, she will say when the tickets will go on sale and you can purchase them right on her website. All right, well, that's perfect. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, thank you for having yes, me. Yes, and I'm sure it's gonna be great. Well, this was Sasha, and as you guys know, great stilettos on the pavement. If you can get in there, ladies, make sure that it's something that you don't want to miss. All right, and we'll be right back on Metro Morning Live.